What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie, back with another video for y'all. And this video right here is if your midheaven is in the sign of cancer. And I'll pause for the cause. If you don't know how to find your midheaven, if you're a new subscriber, if you're just starting off your journey of self-love, self-knowledge, self-understanding, if you don't realize why it's so drastically, imperatively important to study yourself, to learn yourself, and to love yourself through astrology and numerology, don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos. I put the link in the description. You have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So you looked at your birth chart, or your natal chart, it's the same thing, and you realize that your midheaven is a sign of cancer. First of all, I fuck with you on an even deeper level because this is my midheaven. So we have a very similar childhood, so I feel the pain that y'all been through. We have a very similar way of um, expressing ourselves when it comes to public persona. But anyway, I fuck with you on an even deeper level. But um, if you're midheaven's in a cancer, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's just get it popping, shall we? Now you already know before I start, I'm going to give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what cancer mid having people look like and act like in reality. So to start, we got Leonardo DiCaprio, Beyonce Knowles, Britney Spears, Jennifer Aniston, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, John Mayer, Denzel Washington, Kendrick Lamar, Tom Brady, The Game, Tyler Perry, and Venus Williams. All right, so boom, Midheaven and Cancer. First of all, what does Midheaven mean? What does it represent in your birth chart? So when you're looking at your birth chart, looking at the circle, you're gonna see um, two bold lines, one bold line going horizontally, which represents your ascendant and descendant. Ascendant is your rising sign. The opposite of your rising sign is your descendant. That's a horizontal bold line. Then you're gonna see a vertical bold line, which represents your midheaven or MC. That's the two letters you look for. Make sure when you're looking at your chart, you're not just looking at your 10th house. You actually look for the two letters MC, and that represents medium coeli or medium celli. But that's MC, that's your midheaven. And that's the highest point for your chart. That's like your public perception, public persona kind of thing. The opposite of your MC is called your IC or Imam Chelli, Imam Coeli. That is in the fourth house cusps. That is like your private life, your childhood, what you grew up in. So understanding your midheaven, you have to also understand your MC. That's like your roots, what you grew up doing, what you grew up, like the mentality you had. And then your MC is like how you go about when you're going outside in public, when you're going out into like the um, your um, work life, your social status life, your public perception kind of life. So the MC... The midheaven represents your social status, your work career, like when you're trying to look for what kind of career you should be doing for yourself, look at your MC, look at your midheaven. The IC is the private life, what people don't see, where you came from, your childhood, what you have grown up, um, enduring kind of thing, that kind of energy. So having a midheaven in cancer, your midheaven is gonna always be opposite to your IC, so automatically, your IC is Capricorn. So what does that mean? So boom, having a Capricorn IC, having a Capricorn in the fourth house, having a Capricorn type, type of childhood. Remember in my last series how um, Saturn rules Capricorn, you know Saturn is all about restrictions and boundaries and it's like it's a planarian kind of planet kind of thing. So having Saturn ruled, having a Saturn ruled um, sign in your fourth house in your childhood, we, I'm gonna say we, cause I already know we've been through very similar kind of childhood. We've been through hella restrictions in our childhood. We have been through like, we've been taught how to like work hard, how to be like, we've been taught like really how to have a lot of morals and all that. We have been went through like a very cold childhood. When I say cold, I mean that we have been like, we grew up in a in an environment that wasn't really emotionally like nurturing to us. Like we have been taught how to work hard. Like for me, I've been working since I was like 16 had to pay rent at a very young, very early age. I had to really grow up at a very early age, like a lot of responsibilities put upon me kind of thing. Very restrictive, like very strict. Like we had to really grow up in a very strict environment. And I'm not complaining because it actually helped me out to see, to be who I am today. Like very, have a lot of morals instilled in me, I'm very um, organized and all that. But growing up though, our childhood, our emotions wasn't really fulfilled like that. Like either we had one parent that wasn't there physically or emotionally, or we just always felt like, 
we earned, we earned, we yearned for that emotional connection with our parents, with that family life, but we just didn't get it. So we grew up very restrictive. We grew up in a very Capricorn type of um, environment. A lot of boundaries, a lot of restrictions, hella restrictions. Like we want to do something, but then our parents will like kind of knock it down. Like, nah, you're not doing that. This is what you're going to do instead. Like they kind of like grew up in a very cold environment, I'll say, okay? So very emotionless kind of environment that we always craved that emotional connection, but we just didn't get it in a way. So that's our childhood. That's our RC. That's what we grew up in. Very restrictive, forced to work hard, forced to grow up fast, forced to be responsible fast, like in that kind of energy. So having that IC in Capricorn, when you have an MC in Cancer, when we go out into the workplace, we like subconsciously look for like, we look for that emotional connection when we're going out to the workplace. We look for that family dynamic when we go out to the workplace. Like we look for a family outside the house, like in the world kind of thing. Cause in our IC, when we had that family dynamic, we didn't really get that emotional connection that we needed. So when we go out, we kind of like, low key give it out and want that emotional nurturing from the outside world, from our work environment. So when you have this, it's like when you're working, we put everything into our work, everything into our job, everything into our profession. Like we put our whole heart into it. Like we are very like nurturing kind of people automatically, but because we didn't get it as a child or during our childhood, we are like really good at giving it to people really good at like wanting to like help people and nurture people and like really feel for people on a deep level like we are extremely intuitive about feeling energies cancers are very sensitive sign when i say sensitive they're just really good at feeling the energies and knowing the vibrations and all that so we really know how to like look at somebody and really like care for them and nurture for them because we wanted that as a child we wanted that growing up but we didn't get it so we know how to give it because we know what it's like not to have it so like I said, in our work environment, we put our all into that. We put our heart into that. We put our emotions into that. We put like all of our energy into our work environment, into our work ethic and this kind of thing. So with this placement, cause it's like Midheaven is like a public persona. So like looking at social media, cause that's like what your Midheaven is, like whatever you're doing, posting on social media is like your Midheaven. We get like really sensitive when we're doing something, we're posting something to the world and we get like, criticize or we get like backlash from it like we take things very personally when, when we're putting ourselves out there because like we are very sensitive to what we do like when we're doing something we put our whole heart into it so when we're doing it and it gets like negative backlash or people don't like it or people making fun of it or whatever like we actually feel that on a very deep level like we are very sensitive to the outside world but low key or high key we actually look for like family dynamic that family dynamic in the outside world so in our work environment at first, if you're like a new person at work, like around strangers, we are hella reserved, hella closed off, like hella, hella going our, in our safe spot kind of thing. You know, cancers have that shell, so we go in our shell at first because we want to make sure we feel familiar with our environment. We could like have that deep connection. So at first, we're hella shy, hella reserved. But then over time, you realize this cancer mid heaven person is very like nurturing, very nice, like very like just loves to do things for you, like very heartfelt and warm but at first we come out very shy and all that because like i said we take things very um personally and very sensitive to our to our environment to our public persona kind of thing so we give off this very intuitive energy we give off this very kind and caring energy not knowing people looking at us don't know that we've been through like a very cold childhood we've been through like um very restrictive strict kind of upbringing so we're doing this because like we want to we, like we crave that emotional that emotional um that emotional connection we crave that emotional fulfillment kind of thing so understand with displacement and a lot of us have a libra rising so libra rising in general like people like being like people pleasing so a lot of us during the immaturity stages having a cancer mid heaven yo listen that we could get taken advantage of easily because you already know how the world is the world does not care about nothing when it comes to like having a good pure heart it's very ruthless and it's very like Whatever, whatever they want to do, they want to do. Like you don't really care about like feelings and emotions like that. So a lot of us in the immaturity stages, we could get taken advantage of easily because we put our heart into everything. We do everything like we actually care about everything. Like we actually really care. Like my YouTube channel, my public persona, I actually care about y'all. Like I look at y'all like like y'all my family. Like I read all the comments and I heart all the comments because I want y'all to know that like I really care about what I'm doing. Like this is like this is like my. It's like my career in a way. It's my, it's, I'm very passionate about this. I actually care about this. So everything we do, we put our whole heart into it. So we will only leave a job if it's like, if you walk in and realize that people don't really, um, 
people don't really uh, really care about what we're doing no more or if the, our environment doesn't feel like they actually are they actually caring about what, we're, what, what like our energy what we bring like we only leave a job once we feel like we're not being um we're not being grateful or we're not being what's that word damn we're not being como se dice we're not being taken we're not be, we're not being felt great gratitude we're not being felt that gratitude that we feel like because we put our heart into it so if we're doing something for someone in a work environment and we don't get that recognition as in like wow this person is amazing or this person is like I like what you're doing. I love what you're doing for me. If we don't feel that love from people, I'll say, or that's the word. If we don't feel that love from our environment, from our for our immediate employment environment, that's the only time we leave. Because we love being able to go to work or go in our career and feel like this. This is my family. This is our family dynamic. Like we're all close together. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, manipulate you anyway. Like we actually like feeling that close family bond in our work environment. So the only time we'll leave is if we don't feel appreciated. That's the word. If we don't feel appreciated for what we do. So what's this placement too? It could be like excellent, anything that has to do with putting your heart into it, like excellent artists, music, uh, caretakers, a nurse, like anything that has to do with like being nurturing and caregiving in a way. It's a recommended that we like work from home, like having that, having a way to make money for ourselves while being at home is like a perfect thing for this placement because cancers love being at home. You, there's no other familiar place than your family life at home kind of thing. So we like being in a very comfortable, familiar environment when it comes to our work life. But Cancer and Capricorn, they're both cardinal signs. They're both all about being initiative and going get going to get the money for stability. So we are here low key. We do get we do make money by being nurturing. Like we're actually very um we very um very understanding and very stable and very disciplined, I'll say about knowing how to get money for ourselves. So we already know like what we have to do. We work really hard because we grew up with all these morals and restrictions on us. So we grew up knowing how to work hard for our money. So we actually always get get the money, but we do it by being nurturing and caregiving to people. Like we are love, we are just loving people when it comes to our work life, understand, understand that. But you could be the boss, like if you're a manager, you could be the boss that like treats your coworkers or treats like your employees, like family, so like, you don't really are you're not really strict on them like that you kind of you kind of like you kind of lean it on them a little bit so you get taken advantage of like, you get, you get taken advantage of as he's a nice boss or like people people might take advantage of y'all basically because you're really like nice and caregiving in general so understand that especially being a Libra rising to put on top of that so really understand that you don't want to be too um too nice and caregiving to the wrong people but as soon as we find that family dynamic as soon as we find that perfect like um surrounding for us to actually be able to put our heart into what we're doing we will be like stagnant we'll be steady in that job and that career and we will love what we do so you have to have a job that you love what you do and once you do that you will be perfect for that for that profession you're going to put your all into it your cardinal signs you're going to actually work hard because you know how what it's like to work hard you're going to be very strict and organized in your environment and all that but all in all though we just need that familiarity need to feel like acknowledged for what we do because we like we actually low-key crave that emotional fulfillment through the public persona through our public life because in our childhood we didn't get it so when we're going out to the public world we want that we crave that emotional emotional fulfillment in whatever we do we put our heart into whatever we do so that's my video on cancer midheaven i hope you all enjoyed that my next video is going to be on leo midheaven you already know i'm about to go in if you have subscribed to my channel Appreciate y'all for real, for real. And I mean, like, for real, for real, you already know. Can't say made heaven shit, but appreciate y'all for real, for real. If you haven't subscribed yet, though, go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. Drink your water, mind your business, and be safe out here. It's your boy, Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'm going to see all y'all when I see y'all. Peace.